Good evening folks, Orvis51 here uh, and just a quick video just to let you know that I now have uh, Twitter um, not quite sure I understand it but I'm getting there um, so I'm following NASA and they put a image here as their backdrop which I've got the image here which we'll go into that in just a second so if we go to my new Twitter home page which you'll see I've got no followers whatsoever hardly because it's brand new um, so yeah, it would be nice if you could follow um, but yeah Tim Copra I hope that's how you pronounce it Tim put this tweet out the other day um, and it's on the 25th of April beautiful picture now I looked into this picture as it was an excellent picture, so I blew it up and thought, let's have a look at this. And I noticed in the picture that right here, there, there is a little orange glowing orb. So I've put this into Photoshop, and here, let me zoom in for you, you can see this little glowing orange orb which doesn't look like a lens flare because I think if a lens flare you get more to a lens flare than that I mean it could be but um, going on from this image um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because we've seen a lot of NASA feeds getting cut when there is bright objects coming into the sky. And I'm also saying that this is just coincidence because of the materials that they, the space station's made out of and interference and what have you, which is fair enough. Um, who are we to say what their technology can come and can't do? Um, you know, my little head there. Oh, it's my backdrop as well, by the way. NASA's and mine. I hope there's no copyright there. Maybe there is, maybe I'll get told off. Um, anyway, so this image, beautiful picture by the way. Um, there is a little orange glowing orb in the image. And I don't know what it is, so I just thought I'd quickly put that out there. But I mean, if you look at the past Apollo pictures which I'll put a link where you can get these from there's objects in the sky on lots of them absolutely lots of them and they are worth checking out I mean I've put this one into Photoshop here and you can see that that doesn't look like a star you don't get stars that shape I mean if you did it'd be a Pretty awesome looking star but there's a lot of stuff in these actual pictures that I mean what's that it's like a finger I mean some of this is probably just stuff that's on the camera but I'm pretty sure when you're gonna take some pictures on the moon that you're gonna clean your camera anyway this is my Twitter page, Alvis51. Please follow me and I'll be putting lots of content out there and I'm going to be trying to dedicate myself to doing at least a couple of videos every week on aliens, UFOs, ancient stuff in general. But uh, yeah, follow me and like and subscribe, please. Good night, God bless.